Hey, it's Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a completely custom Squarespace website, and it's not very hard, and you can definitely do it. My dog's head just popped up, so follow along. All right, so the first step is to go over to Pinterest and to create some layout inspiration. So just pin anything you like, and then what you're going to do is take the sections that you like of each um, and try to use Squarespace websites if you can. But you're gonna screenshot the section. So you'll notice these are all in kind of rectangles. You'll screenshot the section that you really like. And so let's say you like this section, you'll screenshot that. And then maybe you like this section, so you'll screenshot that. Um, then choose this one, you'll screenshot that rectangle, and so on and so forth. So once you have those all screenshotted, you can go into Canva and lay them out. You'll just upload those images and lay them out in the order in which you want them. So the next step is to go over to Squarespace and download the template that you want. I suggest using the Brine template or at least a template in the Brine family. So this is the Brine template that we are going to be working on. So I would suggest using that one as well. So from there, you will edit each of these sections and... Um, so I'll show you what you do is first you need to change the banner image. I've already changed this one, but you just click on banner and you upload an image and then you can see there's this rectangle box. So you're going to go ahead and add that rectangle box. So you click edit and then delete this text and this one as well. And then you go over to this plus symbol and you do an image block and we're going to use this one, the poster. You can upload an image or you can search an image, but I want a white background. So I'm going to upload a white image that I already have saved on my computer. And then I'm going to add that text that I want as well as the button. So I apply this. I can edit in a title here. This is where you're going to want to put, you know, what is your, who you are, who you're serving. Um, this is all above the folder of your website, so that's key. And then we'll come over here and add a spacer to each side to make it a little bit smaller. And that's a little too small, so I'm just going to drag the spacers a little bit and make it a tiny bit bigger. Perfect. To add the button to this block, you're going to go over to Design, and then Image Link, and you'll create a button. And you can add the button text as well as the click-through URL to whatever page you want to go to. And then go ahead and save that. Make sure you click Save. And I want to change the background of this, so I'm going to go over to Design, Site Styles. And this is where you make any sort of change. Just know that if you make a change here, it'll reflect it across the page. So you can click on the block like I just did. Um, and try changing it, but sometimes it doesn't pull up the correct things on the left-hand side. So in that case, I will either use the search button or click on the whole block like I just did. And I know it's the image block poster. So there I see that gray. That's the background. I want to make it transparent so it's all white. And then I click on the image block again, find the text that's white, and change that to be black, as well as the subtitle text to be black. And then the button, I need to change the color of as well. Um, so I could go ahead and make this button black, but I'm going to use one of her brand colors. So you can just copy and paste the hex code if you have that. And then click on the little white circle or whatever color it is and put in that hex code. Alright, and then again, just make sure you click save. Alright, moving on to the next section. I want to create this kind of squiggle thing, but you can't do that in Squarespace. Same with that oh hey up and down text. You cannot just write vertical on Squarespace. So, I need to create that background in Canva or in Photoshop um, and then export it as a file. So, I would probably just go into Canva and create it and I've already done that. So, make sure you go out of design and go to the pages and then you're able to edit that background. Um, and I'll show you exactly what section of the page it's on. So you can click Edit. Um, the ban if you click Banner, that'll edit the whole background. Click Edit, you can add the text in. Um, so if we look here, it's just one big text block. So I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these text blocks, since we don't need both of them. And then I will go ahead and center this one. 
And I will uh, change the heading to be what I want, but for right now, we're just going to leave that heading. And just make sure that you click Save again. All right, so now we need to go ahead and add that banner squiggle background thing. So you can click on banner, add an image. And then once you find it, go ahead and click. And you'll see a little circle form over the banner. You can move that little circle over if you want to center on your image. This is anywhere on Squarespace, so I'm just going to move it over to the left a little bit since it looks a little funky on the right. And go ahead and click Save. Okay, so now if you go to this section right here, this text is white and my background is white, so that's obviously an issue. So we are going to go back to Site Styles. So Design, Site Styles, and just remember again that any site style you change is going to change it across the board. And then you can hover over that text again or click on it, and it might pull it up on the left-hand side, it may not. So we'll check it out. And it did, so it's the heading one. And I will change the heading one again to be her branded font, but right now we're just gonna go with this and make it black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check, so her hiding, heading is shadows into the light too, so I'm gonna change the heading right here. And this is how you'll change all of your um, headings and text is in design site styles. And I'm gonna type in the heading I want and find it and it will change it across the board to be that font. And go ahead and save that. Okay, so the next thing we're looking at is how large these sections are, and I want to make them smaller. So if you come down to index and then the padding, you can decrease it from 250 pixels, um, and I usually actually decrease it all the way to zero. And then if I want extra padding later, I'll add spacers. Um, so that's one thing I would suggest doing, and click save. All right, so now going back to this section, in order to do that feature, um, I have to have another like index page, but this is a gallery, as you can see. And so you can't really manipulate a gallery. So if I wanted to have three photos, I could keep that, but I don't. So I'm going to delete that page. Sorry, my dog is whining in the background. Um, delete it. And then I need to either add a new section, or I can just go ahead and go to the next section and just edit that one. So that's what I'm going to do. Edit this ingredients. And there's a photo on the left and text on the right. So I'm going to edit it and get rid of one of these texts. And then, so I'll just delete that block. And then I'll put a photo, so plus, image, and drag it to the left. And that's where I'll put that image I was talking about that I created in Canva. So again, to go over that, just do some custom dimensions. I'm going to do 6 by 5. Doesn't really matter. Copy going in the background. Got half the goods, you know. And then you will go ahead and upload a photo that you want. So I'm just going to search an image at this point um, because I don't have one of her. And then you'll go ahead and pull this into Canva. And we're going to want that on the left side of the paper thing and then text on the right. So just size it up and then go to text. And you can just add a heading and we'll change the font to what her font is. So that shadows 2-1. There we go. And then add the text that you want and rotate it 90 degrees. And then drag it to the far right. So it's kind of like overlapping the photo a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. So that's kind of how you're wanting it to look like. All right, and then you just go ahead and save that as a PNG. And this doesn't, you'll just go ahead in here and upload the image. Okay, now that the image is uploaded, I don't want that border around it. I want it to go all the way to the left and up and down. So you go to Design, Site Styles, and then the first thing that will pop up will be, um, well, if you're not clicking on anything and you just have, so go Show All, it says Design Full Background, and you want to change that to Full Width instead. All right, moving on to the next section. So this overlapping thing that we have here is not really capable in Squarespace. You could with coding, but it would be too difficult and I'm trying to do it without coding. So again, you have an up and down uh, text. So you'll do that the same way you did the other one. 
in Canva, just replace it. And then I'll show you what you do to create those three blocks. So come over here. Um, we just want to change the background to be white, it looks like. So um, you can change the banner. Well, first get out of site styles if you're still in that. And you can click banner and just remove the image and it will go back to white. Or if you want to change it to like a kind of lighter white color, you can upload a whiter light white. And then creating those three blocks. Okay, so edit and then you can just delete everything that's on this page because I don't want any of this. And then I'm just going to write some, a little heading, center it, make it heading one. No, heading two. We're going to change heading two later. And then, so we're going to use an image block. And I want to get the image block to have a color, so I'm going to do that later. So you grab a poster image right here. We're going to do three of these. And then I'm going to upload an image in her brand colors. Because there's these three blocks in kind of whatever their brand colors. So I'm going to copy that hex code. Come over, create a new document. I'm actually going to change this to just so, say blog first. Um, since I know I need that. And... I will just screenshot this so I have that ready for when I need it and then delete that and go ahead and change the background color to the color that is in her brand and download that as an image and then you can go back to your Squarespace site and upload that image or color block. Um, I'm going to create the other ones just so I'm prepared. And then the last one will be kind of this lighter white color. And you could also use these color blocks as background, like as a banner image in the background color instead of having it be white. Um, you can have it be this kind of off-white color, whatever. Okay, so now I have all three of those saved. So I go into this, upload the image that I want. Um, we're going to do that brown one in the middle. Make sure you apply it to save it. And then we'll add another image block for another poster block. And you need to be really careful with these dragging them in because if I just drag it right there, you can see it's going to take up the whole side and that collections or whatever is going to go all the way to the right. So that's not what I want to do. Um, I will just upload the image real quick because you can move it around. But you need to be really particular with where you're putting those lines. It's a little finicky and annoying, but you kind of have to drag it in to that brown block so it goes right next to it. And then I'll do another one. Um, it doesn't matter if you do an image or a poster because you can change it by going into the design. So I'll upload that one. And then we're adding the text and we are adding the button and we have blog on the far right. So save that and click plus and add another image because remember our image the blog is actually an image so again drag that in wherever you want it i'm going to try the whole length and see what i think if i like how it looks or not it kind of looks like it's just on the side of these like three images so I'll probably move it, but for now, let's see what this looks like. Just drag it. And that's a little big. So again, we're going to pull that in and have it just be next to those. And so now we need to figure out spacing with all of this. Um, so in order to make those all even spaced, you're going to need to add spacers in between or on the far left side. So let's go ahead and drag the spacer in and see if we can get the spacing a little better. There we go. Let me just drag that. Perfect. And then we're going to save it. Um, and we'll move on to the next section. So I already created this like orange squiggle black background. Actually, I'll show you guys how I create that. So go into Canva again. 
and um, you can delete this and just go and type in like blob or something. Not, we need to make sure we change this to the elements. Okay, just type in blob or squiggle. You can kind of mess around with this. This one will work fine. Um, and then we'll change it to be her brand color and make it really, really big so it kind of takes up just the top portion, if that makes sense. I'm going to use the blue this time. And then rotate it a little bit and see if we can. Alright, that looks good. Download and save that as an image again. And then if you hover over that section, so if you go to pages, you can see what sections there we have going on. So we have our welcome section at the top, the about, and you can change the titles, but right by clicking on the settings, the ingredients, batch two is this one, and then press is the section that we're gonna start working in. So if you go to edit, um, you can edit the text or however it looks. So there's an image on the far left again. We're just gonna we'll put this text right here for right now. And if you want it because it's facing the other way. So you can always rotate it in Squarespace by clicking edit on the image and you can play around with it that way. And then we'll go into banner. I'll upload that blob that I created. And then there's three images. So if she wants us to be like pulling in her blogs, you can put in a summary block what it's called um, but I haven't created her blog page yet so I'm going to show you another way to do this if you want maybe you want it to just be like three links to different pages or whatever so we'll go to edit and this where it looks kind of funny if you did what I told you where you don't have any spacing on the side it will look better um, but I didn't save that when I did it so come over here we're going to drag in three images and we'll just put in a stock photo for right now. And make sure you click apply. And then if you come over to design, you can make it a poster and have like text over it. Um, or you could choose any of these and click apply. You can write the text. So we're going to do a couple more of those. And then once you've uploaded all the images, you can put the text, um, maybe saying, you know, like, check out the blog or whatever. And then if you go to design, you can put links to all of those pages. I'm just checking out what's going on. Okay, so you need to drag this down as well um, because it's horizontal and those are more vertical. So to dr you just uh, can drag this little thing down to change up the sizes of all of them. And then you'll do it one more time on the far right. That's all I learned is do it. And then you just repeat it on the other pages of your website or you can go with a template um, and just kind of fill it in. Really, the main thing page that they're going to be landing on is your home page. So that's the one I would really try to customize and make it look like your brand. Um, and if you need any help at all, I have a, um, a Facebook group for Squarespace and Show It designers or wannabe designers. And it's called Squarespace and Show It for Creatives. So join there, hop in, ask me any questions. I would be happy to connect.